Welcome back. I'm Carla Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Many of you are familiar with our sports director, Kyle Kraska, and the trauma he suffered four years ago when he was ambushed and shot outside of his home. Tonight, Kyle is sharing with us the events of that day and how he's turning that tragedy into a celebration honoring the heroes who saved his life. We do want to warn you that some of the video you're about to see could be disturbing. Just a normal day, just uh, on my way to the office and um, gathered all my things together and got in the car. As I was backing out of my driveway, I never made it to the end. <clears throat> and that's when all the chaos began. I heard a quick eight shots or so, then there's a pause of about um, 10, 20 seconds, and then another round of like six to seven shots. I'll never forget the sound. It was, it was deafening, the sound of glass shattering. It was, it was just absolutely terrifying. And the breaking news we lead with tonight involves our friend and co-worker, sports director Kyle Kraska, who was shot outside his Scripps Ranch home late this afternoon. I wasn't really quite sure what was happening, um, but I, I know that I was getting attacked. And um, those few moments where 20 bullets went through my car, the windows were just exploding, gunfire was indescribable. A few minutes after 3 o'clock this afternoon, our dispatch center received calls uh, of a shooting. And six of them went, went right through me. And then the next thing I know, I, I just kind of pushed my, my door open, and I fell out into my driveway. I was just inside and heard about 10 shots. My first thought when I got to this point was to reach into my pocket and grab my phone and call 911. To my horror, all I saw was a hole in just shattered glass and blood. One of the bullets that would have gone right through me on my backside was thankfully stopped by my phone. I looked around my cul-de-sac. I looked at each home and I realized it was quiet. I just started crawling along this route. So every year I, I walk this path and I think, about, I think about everything I thought about on that day and that was survival. Another person had already run up to him and was helping him. Just kind of collapsed there at the intersection and that's when I looked down the street and I heard a car and wouldn't you know it, it was, uh, it was someone I knew. It was Scott Bartolome, the San Diego Police Department. Looked up, saw me, I saw him, and all I said was, Scott, Scott, please help me. Off-duty police officer came up and um, asked me what was going on. I said, somebody got shot. He said, I'm a cop, let me take care of it. He helped me kind of roll over onto my back and, and prop me up. and. He was compressing my wounds. He called, called the ambulance and they were on the way, but I couldn't breathe and I, you know, I was bleeding badly. I looked up beyond him and I, I could see that the sky was so blue that day. And it just struck me how beautiful it was. And, and I said to him, I said, Scott, look, it is such a blue sky day. <clears throat> this is not the day I'm gonna die. To me, there was never a doubt I was gonna make it, I was, I was gonna survive. But, you know, for that split second, I thought about my, I, I thought about my mom. We're very, very close. And I just thought there's no way, there's no way this can, this can be the end because she, she won't be able to take that. This will kill her if I don't survive. I was gonna fight for every, for everything. I was gonna fight for, for life. You know, the ambulance got there quickly. 
right away they, they got me prepped and they got me in the back of the ambulance and you know we were very quickly on our way to, to Scripps Memorial in La Jolla. Every year now on the anniversary on February 10th I take that journey. I get in my car and I drive the same path the ambulance took and the whole way there in the car I just think about all those people. I think about those EMTs that saved my life. I think about Scott Bartolome who found me in the street. I think about the doctors and the nurses, Dr. Nasrallah, Nurse Tony. It's not easy sharing the story publicly. Uh, what happened to me was a very public thing and each year on the anniversary up until now, I've reflected personally and I've celebrated with the heroes that saved me. I've visited with them. So I asked the community to, let's honor these heroes. Let's celebrate these heroes and give blood and save lives. The celebration of Heroes Blood Drive is on Valentine's Day, February 14th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Dave & Buster's in Mission Valley. That's a lot to look Oof. back on. Yeah, that, that's hard to watch. It's incredible the takeaway with all the modern medical technology because donating blood has been around for a very long time yeah. and yet it still ultimately comes to that as yeah, was the case with you. That's, that's what you needed. That's what saved your life as well. I needed 14 units of blood on that first day that I was brought to the hospital. And if I didn't have that blood, if it was not available to me, I would not be standing here talking to both of you right now. Yeah. That, along with the medical personnel and the first responders, everyone involved, this community, I've always said it, this community of San Diego saved my life. So now this is my way to pay it forward, to gather everyone in this community, bring them together, and let's save lives. Let's save lives in, in, in honor of, of these heroes that do this every day of their lives, not just the ones that saved me, but the yeah. ones who do, do this every day. And blood donors, come on down, celebrate them, give blood, and let's save some lives. Well, we're glad you're here for this yeah. celebration. <laughs> yes. And we'll call this the inaugural. First yeah. of many. The inaugural. And by the way, the response from the community has been incredible. Good. That place is going to be rocking on Valentine's love Day. I'd love to hear that. Yes. Thanks, Thank Kyle. you. Thanks, Kyle.